I'm Kenan Doru. Today we are going to learn Zamak Zinc Alloy. Zamak is distinguished from other zinc alloys by its 4% aluminum content. As you know, zinc by itself doesn't have enough uh, mechanical properties to hold its shape, but at the same time it has very good corrosion resistance. So that's why we need aluminum in, in our alloy. So as you see, that's our subject today, Zamak. Now I'm right here with a couple of letters. Here in our alloy, Z stands for zinc, aluminium, A stands for aluminium, M and A stands for magnesium, K stands for copper. That comes from a uh, German language, that's why in German language it's das copper, so that's not potassium, maybe you might be confused, so that's copper. As you know, that's our base metal in our alloy. Aluminium is used at 4% and we have other additive elements, magnesium copper. So now, I would like to talk about aluminium. This aluminium, 3.5 percentage, 4.5 percentage. If we have less than 3.5 percent aluminium in our alloy, less than 3.5, strength goes down, and uh, our viscosity and fluidity. If we increase the amount of aluminium, such as more than 4.5, tensile strength goes up. So, sorry, tensile strength goes down. So, that means hardness. So in metallurgy that means it becomes a breathable material. So that's that's why we keep it at level for person. Now let's talk about other elements. As I said before, zinc is our base metal. Base metal. We use aluminium or we need aluminium to increase the strength so it helps zinc to hold its shapes. Increase strength and fluidity. Secondly, magnesium. Magnesium is used to remove unwanted elements such as tin or lead, some elements like that to remove impurities or, or to remove unwanted elements. And lastly, copper is used to increase hardness. So we need a we need an alloy uh, other than uh, zinc by itself because it it must be strong enough to hold its shapes or it must be fluid because zamak is used in die casting sector mostly it's used in uh, foundry sector so uh, fluidity is very important property for us so that's our zamak. Now I would like to give you some example where we use zamak such as 
first one is, and very important one is, automotive parts. Parts, such as simply door handles. Locks, zippers. I gave you four example automotive parts, door handles, locks, and zippers. So today we have learned zamak alloy, which uh, contains uh, as a zinc as a base metal and aluminium and magnesium and copper. So I hope you enjoyed my lesson, guys. See you next time. Bye.